And here is the code one more time, 268115, engine cooling bypass valve, circuit short to battery. And before anything, I have just uh, put uh, some piece of clothes and bags right there and some racks. And I have tightened these horses here so the, the camera can, can have a better visibility here. To disconnect the electrical connector, just press on the tap and pull it out. Now before pulling out the hose, make sure you have a bucket on the floor to catch the antifreeze that is going to come out. All you do is pull it up the hose and it should come out right away. And here is the 12mm bolt. And now you can put this hose aside by tying it with a piece of rope or something like that if you want to. And this is the other 12mm bolt here that is holding the valve in place, so we're gonna take it out. And now I can move the valve with the hose. Now to remove the hose from the valve, just make sure you insert a, a very small flathead screwdriver between the tube of the valve and the hose and before attempting to pull it out because this hose really gets stuck with the valve. Here is the valve. All right, the new engine cooling bypass valve here. This is exactly the same as the old one. And uh, this is where it's going to go. See the hose right there? See the antifreeze? That's where it's going to go. All right, and it goes exactly in this position like this. The electrical connector is on top. And from now on, all you gotta do is pushing it into the hose. You have to kind of fight because it remains very tight inside the hose. And now I'm gonna bolt it again, 12 millimeter bolt. And taking a closer look here, that's how it looks like when it has been installed. And this is the other 12 mm bolt here, the one for this hose here. This one, as you can see, we're gonna bolt it again. Show all the way down till you hear the click. And also make sure you bleed out the air out of the cooling system. I didn't show that on camera because I already have videos on how to do that. And after bleeding the air out of the cooling system, make sure the cooling level is good before getting the job done. Alright, and always make sure that you check the temperature gauge right there. You have to weigh as much as you can. Make sure the thermostat opens. Make sure also there are no leaks under the engine just in case. Temperature gauge right there. Everything is good with that. Thanks for watching this video and God bless you all.